Hey guys, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the third episode of Lord Elmore, The Seconds Case Files. So, uh, another week, another mystery for us to uh, sit stunned in silence and try to figure out, even though now we're not going to. Got yeah. it. Um, and I do want to remind everybody that the first few episodes of this are going to be anime original, right? Right. So we're not actually going to get into the main part of the story until at least... A little bit later? At least after this one, I believe. Hmm. If not a little bit later than that. Like the second half of the series, for right. sure. Yeah, the second half of the series, for sure. But I think it... Yeah. It's anyway. just mystery of the week right now. Also, Grey is the scythe version of... Saber. Another another Alter Saber. <laughs> another Alter Saber. <laughs> another one. But adorable. All right, starting in three... Two. One. Let's jam. That was a statue. Some sort of homunculi? Also, dang, Paul McCartney let himself go. Actually, he looks more like John Lennon with the glasses. I knew it. He was a mage and he faked his death. We really don't need you to explain this anymore. He is a main character after all. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Or uh, those who are in a major debt in anime. <laughs> Look at Cowboy Bebop. Outlaws. <laughs> Outlaw Star is what I was thinking of, actually. Either one works. Mm. <laughs> I'll pay you back when I make it big. This new Jeff Lord Toll track is fire. Right. <laughs> Flute solo! Also, is anyone in, uh, anyone watching this ever annoyed by people who think Jeff Lord Toll is the name of a guy in the band? They love the Snape face grab. Ah, Pythagoras. Um, not Pythagorean theorem, but kind of <laughs> like that. Okay, when did the idle character get here? In bed. Whoa! <laughs> That's some grip strength. Right. You 
would be. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little. That's just him losing himself. I hate to see. I hate to see when he's pissed. Is that the thought who challenged Rin to a fight at the end of Unlimited Blade Works? Hmm. And you're Maybe moving like right. that? Freaking JoJo pose going on here. Right. <laughs> T. Service business. Like, for real. I was watching t uh, clips of Top Gear when it was still good. The guys are on a car boat that's sinking, and they're making tea. Serious business. Well, so's he. That was a very weird interaction. I don't like her very much. I'm making my brother's life miserable. Oh, speaking of serious business. Good lord. Don't fucking remind me. I see DJ gave up the street fighting life. Activate Eagle Vision. <laughs> I must have my tea room. <laughs> tea is serious business. I'm more surprised he went down there by himself. Hmm. That's what she said. That's what she said. Come on. Three for three. Three for three. Yeah, she's nasty. Hmm. Ew. I thought it was going to be a casual knockout there. Y'all looking at itchy images and you're leaving the door wide open. Just just saying. Hmm. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Jealous? Ow! Fluffy smelling? Oh. He's gonna troll him hardcore. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Tweedledum, Tweedledum ass. I mean, you did go to a uh, mage college. <laughs> Whoa. Sudden change of expression. Well, at least he's not dead yet. Mm. Uh huh. Well, now that one person's out of the way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Caught him off guard. Oh, how little you know, honey. Understatement. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, I don't know. Did, did he gain some points for that one? Oh man, he is dead.
An electric rodent. What's up, Pikachu? Mm-hmm. Roll 4d6. Situation A, release level 1. Reality warped. Oh, it was a bunny. Dang it. Reference the wrong media franchise. Hi, Flat and Gray here. We'll be whooping your ass tonight. <laughs> oh. It's not just some upstart. He's the best upstart. Another guy looking for the root. Oh, shit. I guess they've been getting on like rabbits. He's like the doctor. He's being all funny and ridiculous and advertising his intentions. Hello. Appropriate. Ground and rock attacks are super effective against electric types. <laughs> the big statue behind you, dumbass. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh great, so he's working for the electric company. The everyday times. And also really on Druid Street. Really? Are we going to see a little Jack Town here? I hope not. <laughs> uh. 
Exposing magic to muggles. Oh. Also, yeah, I don't want to cause a scene and yet you have a squad here with friggin' spears and halberds and shit. K.O. Hmm. Yeah, get him some tea. He'll be fine. Mascot, Scythe, Flashlight. <laughs> or I guess Torch, since it's set in England. So let this be a lesson. Uh, don't fuck with uh, Waver's Tea. Don't or fuck with the Englishman's Tea. Uh, must say, uh, or his favorite tea house <laughs> in particular. Yeah, I, w I would hate to. I'd hate to have to cough up that for that electric bill. <laughs> Enough to run a small factory. Jeez. Oh. Be almost what we get charged. <laughs> In a good month. A bo one sandwich. One bite of one sandwich. Whoa. Hmm? Well, they're talking about the... Uh... The one from the original. Oh, the original, the fifth Grail yeah, War? Yeah, the fifth Holy Grail War. Hmm. The original Fate to Stay Night. Two, two what closed? Two positions, as in two master. Two masters out of, what, seven? Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, big deal. Enough to make him drop his sandwich. Oh, uh, the Mages Association gets two, so basically both positions have been filled. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
So it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like uh, um, soccer confederations at the World Cup. They get a set number of slots. <laughs> I can't well, if I remember this. right from the visual novel, and mm-hmm. it's been many years since I've played it, mm-hmm. the I believe that the um, the Tosaka family and the Matoi family automatically get slots as well. Like the really higher up mage families? Yeah, because one of them provides the land, I believe, and the other one provides something else. So Tosaka, Matoi, probably the Einsburns? Mm, or... I think the Einsburns do, yeah. Yeah, the three founding families, so the mm. Tosakas, the Matois, and the and the Einsburg. So, so they give them... There's three. Clock Tower gets two because they organize the whole thing. Then, what, that church, uh, what's his name, Kiritsu was part of, or no? The church gets one, mm-hmm. and then one random. Ah. The, imp- <laughs> the unfortunate sap. Usually, yeah, the Fifth Holy Grail War was all fucked up. <laughs> but. Then again, why are they not? Well, I mean, even more fucked up. There we go. Won't be much of a face. So I, I, I will never understand the pose. Right. That was a weird, like, oh, let me stand in this weird ass pose for the whole conversation. I'll say, someone draw it like a stand behind her. What year is this series again? Um, I think that the technology should be about the same as when the first visual novel was released. About, so what, 2004? No. It's early 2000s, I think. Or 97, wow. Wow. Was it that old? All right, because this was this was before the original Fate Stay Night, or when it was set anyway. This is only a couple years after Fate Zero. Hmm. This is 10 years. 10 years after Fate Zero. Hmm. No, was just before the, for, uh, the Fifth Grail War. Right, yeah, this is two months before the... The uh-huh. Fifth Holy Grail War. So it's the technology level should be somewhere around there, I think. Ninety seven though. Black Beer's uh like I came in contact with two thousand four, okay. About to say I'm like ninety seven. Uh, I, I don't was think like, I had, didn't think it was that early. I didn't think they had multiple flat monitors like that before the two thousands. It's not flat monitors actually. Oh. If you look at them. Oh. Uh. Ah, okay, that's like bulge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you look at them, they're not flat. <coughs> Did they have the ability to do multiple monitors back then? Yes. Hmm. Depending on how advanced the computer was. That's it. And anyway. they did they did allude to the fact that the guy probably built the computer himself. Hmm. So Fair enough. Think magic might have been involved? <laughs> Probably. Trace on <laughs> extra VGA ports. <laughs> hey, might as well. Anyway, I, um, and nice to see this, him putting it to good use. Looking up uh, chicks and bikinis. This was a very strange, strangely uh, put together episode. <laughs> Teacher gone, but aren't they all? Technically, they all are. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest here. They're all a little creepy when it comes to uh, Waver. Also, speaking of the time period, was the really gaudy Harajuku style thing back then? Well, actually, if it's 2004, yeah, it would have been. Anyway. Waver's the new hotness as far as magic theory is concerned. But, I mean, yeah, he's kind of the vanguard of modern magecraft. I mean, you saw that uh, villain kind of, you know, bitching about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that is a lot of things uh, in the Fate series as far as the um, Mages Association is concerned. Because hmm. a lot of it is like basically tradition versus modern. Right. Blue Bloods versus, the, I guess, the Nouveau Riche. Instead of money, it's more magical power. Hmm. Yay, nobility. But yeah, yeah, this was a really 
I really kind of strangely put together episode, I guess. Yeah, it seemed more Mystery of the Week, Scooby Doo ish kind of. Because, like, you got your, you know, gang of detectives kind of wandering into the situation for the episode. Yeah, it's. it's Seems a bit more. It's weird. When they mentioned the assassination at the very beginning of the episode, I figured that they'd be going to that. Mm. But, uh. Maybe next episode? Uh, I think it might come up again. Hmm. I mean, that one. Uh, oh, yeah, the whole. Uh, the whole great misunderstanding. Uh, what's his name? Sven? Yeah. Flattens. Uh, Sven. Yeah, Sven. So. Does he dislike me? Oh, you don't know the half of it. All right. Oh, great. Adorably dense. They're introducing a few bits of canon or lore that aren't necessarily from the light novels, from this light novel series. Hmm. That's good that they're doing that. Yeah, again, trying to make the upcoming like overreaching plot. Are they also throwing in a bunch of stuff that we would have found out in the other light novels before the uh, real Zeppelin Grace note? Mm. Not, Not yet. yet. Mm, okay. Uh, So I would have figured that they would have taken the anime original episodes and, and basically filled in a little bit of background mm. or leading up to them, but not yet. Okay. Cool, cool. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Anything else for this episode? <laughs> uh, besides the disappointment and lack of Monty Python jokes with all those rabbits, but they didn't look like Fuck. rabbits. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> well, because of how they were talking about them, I originally thought they were rats. Mm. And hence why you said, damn it, referencing wrong uh, yeah. wrong media franchise. <laughs> like, really? I don't if I, if I would have known that it was a rabbit from the beginning, <laughs> then the Monty Python jokes would have came out. <laughs> See what you did to us, damn me. Fuck. You fucked us up. But you fucked it. At least we all know where Poke Blue went, or Pika Blue went. Pika Blue. Pika, Pika Blue. Blue. <laughs> God, that's even back. Before the name Meryl was introduced, Pika Blue. It's around the same time frame. Fair enough. Fair enough. Two thousand four. Actually, that. Nah. Yeah, well, Gold Silver be, was ninety eight. It'd be it'd be older. It'd be older than that, so that they'd understand. They'd understand. I don't numbers. think that Gold and Silver was ninety eight or. Early 2000s? It didn't come out until after I moved to uh, Colorado. So I moved to Colorado in 2000. Well, well it was definitely 99. before 2004. It was, to, it was before 2004. I know that. Okay. Fair enough. Fair I was enough. about to say, it definitely was not 98. Yeah. Pretty sure. Actually, yeah, 97 is when Red and Blue came out. All right. Anyway, that's, yeah. Going completely off. The- yeah, completely off the rails. <laughs> Zeppelin. <laughs> Real Grace, Grace no. <laughs> anyway, let us know what you're talking about. Which stuff are you actually in the comment section below? Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. And if you're interested in during a Discord, link for in the description below. Those rabbits were dynamite. If you like our videos here on YouTube, consider going to patreon.com slash otakusaga and making a donation. Because remember, your support helps keep the lame references coming. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. You could say that they were shockingly thrilling. Absolutely shocking. See you you next time. time.